Hey guys, welcome to Carriage House Metalworks. This video features a Doringer D350 cold saw that we currently have posted for sale. This cold saw was purchased for a project that never materialized. We uh, used it once. To make this stand right next to it and after we made this stand for some sanding equipment we never used it again so a cold saw as you know runs at extremely low RPM on the table here I have some of the angle iron that was cut for that stand that I just showed you and hopefully you can see the finish on this is quite smooth actually no secondary finishing operation is required these pieces were cut right off of a piece of stock and as you can see they square up nicely no filing or sanding at all I'm going to set these aside for now this is the bandsaw that we also use in our business on the table here it's got a sliding vise nice and smooth you can set it to the right clamp it down cut your piece it's got this lever action clamp so you can basically screw the vise in to close proximity of your workpiece and then they clamp it in place for repetitive cutting operations. All you have to do is move this lever back and forth. I'll slide this guy out of the way here. Not much to this saw. It's got a water reservoir or a coolant reservoir. We used water soluble coolant when we did run it this is the coolant pump right here this reservoir here is actually removable for cleaning comes with grease gun various allen wrenches in this upper compartment here there's this tub and what happens here is the chips and the coolant drop down from the collection table above the coolant drops through this perforation plate in the bottom and this tub here collects all of the chips so that you can dump it out And reuse the coolant so we have a motor on off switch and just to the left a coolant pump on off switch and the way this works is you turn the coolant pump switch on I'll turn it on nothing happens until you turn the main motor switch on so if you're running coolant what you do is you turn the coolant pump switch on and every time you turn the motor switch on, the coolant pump turns on. If you're not running coolant, just turn it off. So to turn this guy on, hopefully you can see the blade turning here. It's got a lot of teeth on it, but again, it runs, cold saws run at low RPM.
This mechanism here allows you to, when you unlatch it, to lift the blade shield out of the way. Don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I can't. I could. We have the motor here running 220. I'll show you where we have it. Excuse the dog noise in the background, but we have it plugged into a 220 volt outlet here using just a regular, like a three prong dryer outlet. I don't know if you can see it, but down here in the corners, each corner, there is a, it's got a heavy duty frame. It's got holes drilled here, and what we would do is we would basically bolt this unit to a pallet and then shrink wrap it for shipment. Enjoy!